Hello everyone and welcome to Dyson Week. Well, what better way to start off a week of Dyson products than with a brand new upright machine. This is hot off the presses. There was no fanfare like the V10. This has just been slowly launched without any hoo-ha. Well, I've got one. So let's have a look at this Dyson Ball Animal 2. Well, here it is out of the box, ready to be assembled. Like all the Dyson uprights I've unboxed from the DC40 onwards, it didn't want to come out of the box. So I didn't want to subject you to a lot of swearing and puffing and panting. So it's all unboxed and laid out for you. I'll show you all the component parts and how they fit together. Now, if you're watching this from the USA, you might say, well, we have the Dyson Ball Animal 2. You do have a model called the Dyson Ball Animal 2, but this one is a completely new model for the UK. I'm not sure if you'll get it in the USA. It has a different cleaner head that's very similar to the light ball, but it also has a small turbine brush as well as the tangle free one. And it has a brand new wand with a metal handle, metal extension tube, and a brand new articulated joint. So, Let's assemble this new Dyson. The first thing we need to do is assemble the cleaner head to the ball. So it seems to fit in a similar or the same way as the light ball. So basically put the machine on its front, recline the handle, and then you need to offer up the head here and just slot it in until it clicks. That's all there is to it. Next, you need to attach the hose to the wand. Then locate the handle into the top of the machine in the direction of the arrow. Then carefully push down the wand until it stores inside the hose. Finally, push down the red end and close the end cap. This is the tool holder that holds the combination and upholstery tools. It fits on this bracket here. You just need to slide it onto the machine this way up. So just Place it on the cleaner, push down until it's in position. You can now store the combination tool and the upholstery tool on the cleaner. For the first time in a Dyson Upright, you now have onboard storage for the Tangle Free Turbine. This bracket fits on the handle just above the power switches. The mains cable stores around a fixed hook at the bottom and a swivel hook at the top. You can secure the plug to the mains lead using this clip. So with the cleaner fully assembled, I'll just read out the EU Energy label. So it's a Dyson UP24 Dyson ball. It gets an A rating for energy using on average 28 kilowatt hours per annum. It gets an A rating for dust emissions. It gets a C rating for dust pickup from carpet. It gets a C rating for dust pickup from a hard floor. And it's at the new EU limit of 80 decibels. This Dyson Ball Animal 2 looks like an upgrade to the excellent light ball that I unboxed on my channel a while ago. It seems to have the same cleaning head with the suction control, so it'll be set in the middle position when you open it, and that's just for vacuuming general lightly soiled carpets, rugs, and hard flooring, and it'll also pick up larger debris on a hard floor, for example, peanuts or cat litter, that sort of thing. So that's the setting you'll use it at most of the time. If you're cleaning a lightweight rug or an entrance mat, you can select the minimum setting. So you've got reduced suction. If you want a deep intensive clean of carpets, you can select maximum suction, but it won't pick up larger debris very well in that mode. This is just for concentrating the suction at the cleaner head. But for general day-to-day -day use, the middle setting will be fine. The larger turbine brush is another benefit of this new cleaner. It allows you to clean under low furniture and tight spaces. This is not a kinetic model, so it has two filters that Dyson suggests you wash every month. The first filter is located in the top of the bin. So to access the filter, remove the bin and then you've got a little tab here. Lift that up and pull the filter out. You can clean that under running water, squeeze it out, leave it to dry and then pop it back into the machine. 
The washable exhaust filter is located behind the ball here. So just unscrew this part and remove the half of the ball. Then turn the filter to remove it. Wash that under running water. Wait till it's dry, about 24 hours. And then it pops back in, line up the arrows, lock them in place and pop the ball back on, line it up and tighten it up. You'll know when it's tight because it starts to make a clicking noise. Takes a few turns, there we go, that's done. This articulated joint is another new feature on the Ball Animal 2. To access the onboard tool, simply flip up the end cap, pull out the metal extension wand, and on mine, for some reason it's quite stiff, but it'll probably loosen up in use. Pull that out fully, and as you can see on this model, it's now metal, and then you just pull the handle off the cleaner. The new articulated joint makes it easier to reach up high and down low, and it swivels in both directions, which is an improvement on previous versions. You can connect any of the tools directly to the end of the wand here. You can't fit them to the end of the handle, but you can fit them directly to the end of the hose. So all the small tools will click neatly into that. When you've finished, everything clicks together in a secure fashion. And then to release, you just press the silver button. With the nozzle connected directly to the hose, you can clean up to nine steps. But with the wand attached, you should be able to reach up to 13 steps. I will be doing a more thorough demonstration of this cleaner in a future video, but I'm just going to give you a few demonstrations of its performance, first on carpets and then on hard floors. So I've just put some general dirt down on this short pile rug, and we'll see how well the new Dyson Ball Animal 2 picks it up. It's not a complete clean sweep, but it's very good. There's still a few of the smaller particles left, but another couple of passes and they should be removed. Just to see the difference, I'm going to clean this area of the carpet using the Dyson Ball Animal 2 on its maximum setting. It has actually made a bit of a difference. Now this side of the rug I went over first using the machine on the middle position, but on max it has removed certainly more of the smaller particles. There's still a few little ones remaining, but it's also seemed to have lifted the pile better and actually separated the fibers. So you would get a deeper clean on the max setting. And finally, I'm just going to see how it performs on the minimum suction setting. Well, surprisingly, in this case, it does seem to have done a little bit better than the medium setting, but not quite as good as the maximum setting. But this is just an example on my particular rug using a particular type of dirt. So results will, of course, vary in your home. But all in all, it is a pretty good cleaner. I've put down a bit of an extreme mess on my kitchen floor, so I'll see how the new Animal 2 copes with it. Because it's a hard floor, I'm going to clean with the brush bar stationery. Right, now... <laughs> I had to veer off course a bit because my camera tripod was getting in the way, but <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good on hard floors, but I think you'll have noticed 
And I noticed this in my demonstration for the Dyson Kinetic Big Ball that some of the particles get blown away. You probably picked that up on camera because the exhaust air is on one side of the ball. I mean, this is an extreme example. You shouldn't have this sort of mess on your kitchen floor. So for general dust and dirt, I'm sure it'll be fine. Well, that's the end of my first video of Dyson Week, an introduction to Dyson's latest upright, the Ball Animal 2. I would highly recommend this machine. I do recommend the light ball, and this is basically a light ball on steroids. It addresses some of the problems the light ball has, such as it's got better onboard tool storage for the two small tools, and the inclusion of tool storage for the tangle-free turbine is an added benefit. The new articulated joint on the wand makes the tools a little bit easier to use and the provision of a larger turbine brush makes cleaning under furniture a bit easier. Stay tuned because I will be doing a full demo of this cleaner including pet hair pickup using the tangle free turbine and of course the main cleaner itself. If you have any questions about this machine please ask in the comments section below and I'll see you tomorrow for the next video in Dyson Week. Thanks for watching and goodbye.